So it's been confirmed that the next Jurassic film will be titled Jurassic World Rebirth. And it's a title I kind of expected because it makes sense considering we're now moving away from those OG characters, from the Chris Pratt uh, characters as well. And we've now got this new team led by Scarlett Johansson. And as we can see confirmed here, Gareth Edwards' Jurassic World movie is titled Jurassic World Rebirth, starring Scarlett Johansson, Jonathan Bailey, Rupert Friend and Mahershala Ali uh, in theatres on July 2nd, 2025. So next year, next summer, uh, good release date, I'd say, start of July. Um, we've seen the last couple of years at the end of July, we had Barbenheimer last year, this year we had Deadpool Wolverine. So the end of July seems like a really uh, hot spot, but the start of July is also very good as well. You know, it's, it's very early on in that sort of uh, wave of, of those last remaining sort of big sort of blockbusters. So I think it will do well in that slot. Firstly, just focusing on the director, Gareth Edwards. In the past, he's done things like Godzilla 2014. He did Rogue One and also uh, last year as a creator. Um, and in all those films, he's shown that he can really get scale right, like he can work with big structures and big creatures. And so he seems like a perfect fit for this franchise. And also just on the creator, he had an $18 million budget for that film, but made it look like it was worth twice the amount. And I think with this film, he's obviously going to have a lot more money to play with. So I'm looking forward to see how well this film looks when it comes to July next year. Also, when we look at the cast here, we have Scarlett Johansson, who gets to lead the film. And I think that's great for her because she's had some chances in the past with things like Ghost in the Shell and also Black Widow. But I think those films had their own issues with them. So now she gets another opportunity to have a crack at this franchise. Uh, we also have Jonathan Bailey, who's uh, been pretty well known for being in Bridgerton. Uh, Rupert Friend, who has recently been in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series as the Grand Inquisitor. And we also have Mahersha Ali, who hasn't been doing much recently. He was in uh, that Netflix film with Julia Roberts, uh, the world film, what it was called, the Apocalypse one. Uh, he was in that. He was also, well, he's been waiting to play Blade for a while. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Um, and of course, you know, he had his big break uh, back in the day for Moonlight. So, you know, I, he's a good actor, though. I'm, I'm happy to see him in this film as well. Um, so yeah, that's not a bad looking cast. Universal also released a bit more information. I'll just pick out a few of the key points here. Of course, this is the seventh film in the 31 year old franchise. Uh, David Kep has wrote the script after he also wrote the original Jurassic Park script back in 1993. Um, just on uh, Scarlett Johansson's character, she is a covert ops expert named Zora Bennett who has been hired to lead the team, extracting DNA from the three most gargantuan dinosaur species left alive. And as you can see, there's a picture here of Johansson with her co-star Jonathan Bailey, looking like they've sort of matched there in terms of their outfits. And we also have her partner in the film, who is Mahersha Ali's character, um, looking very Jurassic World-like and Jurassic in, in general-like with him holding a flare. And also I thought I'd share this picture as well because it was a top comment. I mean, would you be interested in seeing a film like this? Let me know. So yeah, summing it up, I'm quite optimistic about this film because after Jurassic World Dominion, I was like, oh, please no more. But with this, it does look like it is breathing new life into the series. You know, it's called Jurassic World Rebirth. Um, and I quite like that title. And, you know, I think the cast is good. So it's got some uh, good talent on screen and off screen with the writer and, of course, with the director. So yeah. Looks like things are falling into place quite nicely for Jurassic World Rebirth. But what are your thoughts? Do you like the title? Do you like the cast? What do you think is going to happen when it comes to this story? Do you think you know, the synopsis sounds all right? Or do you think they should go in a completely different direction? Let me know that all down below. And if you want to watch another video on screen, I have my ranking video for the Jurassic films. And also one which YouTube have recommended for you.